There is no secrets in fighting. No secrets. That's how you evolve. That's how that's how the sport evolves. Yeah, it's how all sports evolve. Yeah. This is a introduction to wrestling with falchion. We all know how with an axe you can grab to pull. But with a falchion, you can use it as a lever. So one of the grapples I like to do for head crank is I'll get my sword behind and I will drop it over the back of his neck. And I'll drop it over the back of his neck here. I will then come onto the sword, my own sword here, and then I'm going to use the sword as a lever against my arm to crank his neck as I walk around. Now, when you're cranking, it's important you keep the shoulder pressed in and your head pressed in so we're tight. If I have gaps here and I try and crank, I will slide off the head. The other thing, is I am not pulling with the flat of the blade, I'm pulling on the back of the blade here. So I'm going to over, it's a strong bar. If I roll to the flat, it will bend. If I instead put it on the back of the blade, it won't. Now I'm pulling it tight, and I walk the legs into this position. And then from here, I get through the throw, or you can slide on top to get to this position, or here, if I'm underneath his arm, if I'm underneath his arm, and I do this, then I can pop his arm up and walk him around. Simple neck crank with a falchion. Okay, the next one that I like to do is a shoulder crank. So my arms are here, I drop the sword down on the back of the shoulder, come over the top of my sword here, and then I walk the arm to this position using this falchion as a crank against his shoulder. And here again, I come here, throw, or again from this position from here, I can always pull on top, or I can circle. Now the final crank that I like to do on the arms, if I'm on the outside of his arms, if I'm on the outside of his arms here, I get to his elbow, I get my weight onto the falchion in his elbow, and I'm going to crank on the elbow here to put him off balance. Then from here, I can transfer and move the hook while I have this arm trapped like this, like so, keeping it pulled in tight as you would do, and from here, or I can just walk around until he goes down. Now, the falchion is just a giant bar, so there's all sorts of ways you can use it. I have another one that I got on the inside this elbow, here, and again I just walk it out, keep it pulled in tight, and it screws down to the arm. That's also feeling very uncomfortable on the inside of my arm. Yes, so because of the metal edge, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to place it along the muscle areas here. Mm. So when I pull it in tight, you lose this feeling. Of course, that was the uh, escape from the crank. But yeah, I'm sorry, that was the escape from the crank. So, if he does one of these cranks on me here, the key bit is I need to get my hip underneath, like here, and then I'm either going to try to hook the leg and stabilize it, and slide my head out, or I'm going to hook him. I'm going to hook here, and then I'm going to put my hips underneath me, drive my head, and pull him there, and then put my head out. So if somebody gets a crank on you, there are simple escapes. Excellent. Thank you. Do you like the look of our team's custom activewear? Are you in need of some of your own for martial arts and fitness training? Then look no further than xmartial.com. Stand out from the crowd with your own badass design. 
ex marshal offer high quality rash guards, spats, training shorts and more. Perfect for wearing underneath your sword fighting protective gear. Featuring highly durable and flexible materials, offering full range of motion while keeping form fitting and highlighting your well earned gains. There are dozens of amazing designs already on offer on their website. Check them out for yourself using the link in the description and use our code STEELWOLF for 10% off your next order at xmarshall.com.